Hi guys, so since Thanksgiving has come and gone and it occurred so late in the year, if I want to have any kind of decor for Christmas, I have to get it done now. The way our house is set up, it's basically two rooms. It's this room that I'm in and then our bedroom. And so I wanted to focus on decorating this room. It's kind of the kitchen, dining room, family room and book room. So that is what I'm going to be focusing on today. I thought it'd be really fun to do kind of a decorate with me. I have a couple ideas to see and play around with, but I'm really excited. And I know that I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with decorating for seasons or for holidays because there's a part of me that just thinks it's so silly and there's not really a use for it, but at the same time, it makes me feel so cozy and happy. So if you're like that, if you just feel so cozy and happy decorating or watching decorating videos and you also like books and kind of want to see a before and after and decorate alongside me, that's what this is for. There are a few things specifically that I'm going to try and do. I have a little Christmas tree that I think I'm going to put over in this corner because that way you guys can see it in my videos leading up to Christmas. I am considering turning the books around. I know that evokes some really strong emotions in people when somebody organizes their books that way, but I just think the aesthetic, because this room is primarily comprised of whites and grays, and I think that that kind of off-white color that most books pages are is gonna look really nice, especially combined with a Christmas tree over here. Maybe I'll try to have some little lights. We'll see. So my husband and I are basically down to our one car because this particular car, we've had so much car trouble this year. We already had to get rid of one car and then get a new one. <laughs> new to us, not brand new. But then this car also has been giving us a lot of trouble and it sounds like it's going to break apart every time we attempt to drive it. So fingers crossed that I don't break down on my way to the store. <laughs> So I asked you guys over on Instagram if you liked this green throw blanket better or this other red one and you guys voted for the green one, although it was very, very close. And I must say, I decided I would kind of coordinate with this green and it was so much more difficult <laughs> to do that than to coordinate with red. There's so much more red decor out there, but we, we managed, we found some stuff. These are the items that we have. Some of them are new, some of them are things we already had, and these are some really over-the-top clip-on earrings that I had, and I thought maybe I could clip them onto something. This is just a random ribbon. I thought maybe I'd tie around some books, make it into a bow or something. We'll see. And also, is anybody else a loser who puts the fireplace on their TV? I also have these two candles from Cauldron Candle Company. These were from characters based on my book. This is the Abaddon candle and the Dietrich candle, and these two characters are brothers. So we, when we made the scent, we kind of tried to make them similar. And this one and this one both have a sandalwood scent in them, which I think smells perfect right now with all the woodsy smells. 
I think you guys voted very well. I really like how that little blankie turned out. And, oh my gosh, it's so soft. I wish you guys could touch it. And it was really cheap. It was, I think, $8. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is turn all these books around. I'm gonna do a little trial run first. I don't wanna commit to doing all the shelves and then end up not liking it. So I'm just gonna do a few first, see if I like how it looks, and then I'll do all of them if I like it. Some of you might be cringing inside, but I like it. since our tree is so tiny, we prop it up on this stand, which is actually the cake stand for our wedding. talk about some of the specific things I did on the shelf. So I have all of these little pockets where I have some of those little decorative items that I mentioned, but I wanted to show you guys a couple of things I did. So one, the Polish editions of the Mistborn books have these pretty red ribbons to mark your page. So I just left those hanging out. So they're kind of like their own little decor. I also took that ribbon and tied it and then there's that clip on earring that I mentioned from before just to give it a little bit of, of extra sparkle and then I also wanted to give a shout out you guys if you have not followed the Instagram account kinds of insanity she has the most gorgeous feed I'll link her Instagram down below but she was so nice she sent me this beautiful little snow globe and she's in France, and I can't believe she sent that all the way from France, but it's so cute. The other snow globe she sent me, unfortunately the little thing broke. I still have it, but this one was intact, and it's so, so pretty. A couple of other things I did though, I left my Mistborn 10th anniversary editions facing normal, just because I thought the colors kind of added something to the shelf. And then I did the same thing for the Shades of Magic without their sleeves because I thought it looked very Christmassy. We have little pops of red since almost everything is green. And then I also added this book. This is Descendant of the Crane by Joan He. And I really enjoyed that book this year, but it's the perfect color, I thought. And it just kind of adds a little bit of, you know, hey, this is a bookshelf and it's Christmas. I also took the last clip on earring and just clipped it onto this candle. That's the Abaddon candle. 
just to give it a little, little extra sparkle. I'm really happy with how everything turned out. I wasn't sure uh, while I was doing it what I was doing, but I, I really like it. I know, I know some people are just feeling some kind of way about these books being turned around, but just for the holiday season, I really, really love it. <laughs> it was hard work watching this decorate. Do anything for food.